Okay, guys, things are about to get seriously muddy with spin tires. is an off-roading simulator set in the Russian wilderness, where mud is your biggest enemy. <laughs> the ground is actually made of a deformable mesh that realistically squishes and swallows up vehicles as you drive across it. Prepare to get stuck a lot. Pretty impressive tech, isn't it? Absolutely, and it's quite hypnotic watching the ground get churned up over and over again, but it's also a bit deceptive because sometimes the ground looks solid, but it isn't. The game offers up to five fairly large maps to explore, with the ultimate goal being to pick up some logs from a lumber yard and deliver them to an objective. But before you start doing that, there's some work you need to do first. Yeah, maps are blacked out by these cloaking vortexes when you start. And you won't be going very far if you don't plan out a route ahead of time. So first things first, you grab a little jeep and go out exploring to unlock the cloaked areas. As you explore, you'll also stumble across other vehicles and garages. Vehicles will unlock by driving up next to them, while garages require you to deliver garage points to them. They then act as a checkpoint, letting you recover a stuck or destroyed vehicle from them, or refuel and repair your current one. Also, every vehicle needs to be outfitted for the job at hand. So if you want to repair another truck, you need to attach a repair carriage. If you want to transport logs, you'll need a log carrier, and so forth. This is a game that's all about little victories. Slowly and surely, you navigate your way through the world, winching yourself out of trouble, only to end up stuck again a meter later. Oh, every inch of progress feels like a real achievement. Yeah, that winch is your savior. But it needs to connect up to an anchor point that's close to you, so you become totally paranoid about open fields or wide, muddy roads. Because if you get stuck there, you're not getting out. <laughs> Although you can swap into other vehicles, so if you do get stuck, break down, or need to refuel, you can attempt a rescue operation. But that doesn't always go to plan, does it, Barjo? No, no, it does not. Ah. No, 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 no! Come on, come on! Ah. Oh dear. Uh, you do have a few tools up your sleeve to help get unstuck. Uh, along with the winch, most vehicles feature four-wheel drive and differential locks, which make the tyres turn at the same speed. When you turn them on, they will greatly improve a vehicle's ability to gain traction. However, they also greatly increase fuel consumption. I don't know about you guys, but the idea of getting stuck in mud a lot just doesn't scream fun to me. Well, Hex, there are actually people who go off-roading and get cars stuck on purpose, just so they can witch them out again. Clearly, some humans derive pleasure from it. Yes, it certainly is a strange pastime. Maybe it's a human thing and not a robot thing, Darren. Maybe so, Barjo. Maybe so. Well, for a while there, I admit I was having fun. There's a real element of strategy and planning to the objectives, and it's rewarding when you succeed. But it still wasn't long before I got bored slowly trudging through the mud again. Yes, I think a bit more variety would have helped. All of the maps are basically the same. Maybe some dynamic weather could have mixed things up. Maybe a snowy map or some sandy ones, just something. Mm, affirmative. Uh, another thing I would like to see is a more detailed damage system. Each vehicle simply has a certain number of damage points it can sustain before it breaks down. But every little bump and scrape with a tree costs a few points, so it can feel a bit unfair when you burst into flames, even when you've been driving carefully. Yeah, given how realistically everything else bends and squishes, you would have thought they'd have a similar thing for vehicle damage. But anyway, what did you think of the multiplayer, Barjo? Well, it's pretty basic. It's pretty much the same as the single player, except you've got up to three other friends with you trucking about. But I quite like that you can have friends about to help you out in a tough situation. Yeah, it's a nice feature, but you really do need to have some real life friends to play with you since there's rarely more than 10 other people online. You know what, overall, I really like this game because it's so different. It sets out to do something, which is be a truck simulator in the dirt, and it does it well. So I think it's worth eight out of 10 rubber chickens. Yeah, I mean, there's some nice tech there and it certainly has potential, but this really just didn't grab me. So I'm giving it six and a half. 